Hi there, my name is Andy Frost. I am also known as the Bowling Bishop. These are my kids, and today we have another adventure in the home. Today, we've got an adventure involving eggs. Wow, look at those eggs. This is gonna be an egg sighting adventure. It's gonna be an egg extravagant day. Okay. What we're gonna be doing is building parachutes for these eggs and then dropping them out of the first floor window and seeing whether or not these raw eggs will survive. We've got some marker pens here and some googly eyes. Whatever you have in your house, decorate your eggs to give them some personality. Let's do this. This is Eloise Junior from Pro Parachute. This is me, Junior, and it's also got one braid and one bunch. Mine is called Mr. Eggy. He has the same haircut as me. And look at his eyes. So we're challenging our cousins from Leeds. Hello, my name is Ollie. This is my egg. It's wearing a bow tie and a cap. And its name is Bungie Egg. Hello, I'm Poppy and this is my egg, Hope, and she's wearing earrings and a headband. Why don't you challenge someone? So kids, you've got your stuff. You've got your eggs. Let's get making a parachute. Off you go. I'm giving my kids a piece of paper and a cardboard plate and some wool and some mini pegs and some lollipop sticks and a plastic bag and some tape and some pipe cleaners. In the Bible, do you reckon there are eggs in the Easter story? Probably not. So why do you reckon we have eggs at Easter? Because they eggs bring new life. That's right. In the um, pre-Christian days, it was a festival we used to have eggs and when the Christians took over that festival and made it into Easter they decided we should keep having eggs because they're a symbol of new life. I'm going to make a nest around it so when it flies down and hits the floor it wouldn't um, smash it too badly. Well my tactic to keep mine safe is going to be to make a harness um, like we would wear. My eggs cracked. The egg cracked in the making of the parachute. I tell you what, you can have my egg man. I dropped another one. Two top tips. First of all, buy lots of eggs. And second of all, when the eggs aren't being used, put them carefully in a pot like this, otherwise they tend to roll off the table. What do you think it would have been like going to that tomb that Easter Sunday and discovering that Jesus' body had gone? It would have been terrifying. Terrifying, do you reckon? Shocking. And how do you think they would have found it that Jesus had come back to life? They would have been amazed. Do you reckon that would have given them a real hope and excitement? Yeah, definitely. We need to remember that everything is possible. Jesus can do miracles. Okay, guys, are you ready to drop your parachute eggs? Yes. Yes. Okay. Go, go! Another disaster. Let's see how their cousins got on. Bungee plunge! Did Bungee survive the plungey? No. It's a splat attack. It was good fun though, wasn't it? Yeah, really. I've used a, um, a plastic bag for the parachute and then I put her in a little seat so that there was a less chance of her cracking. She hasn't cracked at all. She's fine. <laughs> So there's no omelette for the Bolding Bishop tomorrow, but subscribe and join us for our next adventure in the home.